Hello. I have been a beekeeper for about four years now, and I never gave it a second thought about wanting to provide some additional heating to the beehives. I have been learning and experimenting with each passing year. I initially purchased two beehives and placed them at the top of a little hill on our property. Their first year provided us with about four and a half gallons of honey at harvest time in September. After that winter, I decided that I'd like to get three more hives since the first year was somewhat productive. I leveled another spot on the hill for the additional hives and purchased a few more hives in packages. During my second winter as a beekeeper, I had lost either three or four out of the five hives. And after some investigating research and discussions with friends, I realized that the hill might not be the best spot due to the constant windy conditions of that area. There seems to be a constant breeze in that area during the winter. I decided to change their location once again. So I moved everything to a new area behind the shed and leveled enough area to accommodate five hives. I created an elevated platform behind the stands to make it easier to remove heavy frames during the harvest time. I had intentions of eventually building some kind of wind barrier to help with blocking the prevailing northwest winds during the winter months. After completing the installation of the five hives, the very next day my wife captured these photos of this black bear next to the hives. By the time I got home the bear had knocked down the fifth hive and basically destroyed the hive population. So after reassembling the hive components, I immediately strapped each hive to its stand and I put together a motion detector and loud siren as a temporary measure. I then researched, purchased, and installed a high voltage electric fence. Although this fence was very poorly assembled by me, it did give me some sense of relief in knowing that in combination with a motion detector and siren, this would aid in the prevention of any possible further bear intrusions. After the third winter as a beekeeper, I lost two more hives and came to the realization that I needed to get going with building some kind of wind protection. After doing some online research, I decided to build a wind barrier. I researched various methods such as hay bales, a wall of bushes, or something like a stockade fence. I eventually decided to build a wall behind the hives, which is the north side, and walls on the east and west sides. I initially wrapped burlap around the framing, but I didn't like the way it looked, so I eventually switched it over to a T111 siding. I decided to use a heavy duty tarp this winter but next year I will be installing a permanent asphalt shingles type of roof. The high voltage fence was rewired and will remain to protect the front, but I removed it from the rear and sides. I added a door to make it easier to access without having to depower and disconnect the electric fence each time. This will come in handy for quick inspections, especially during the cold and snowy weather. I'll also keep the motion detector as an additional backup preventive measure. And finally, as far as the heating method that I came up with, I purchased this temperature controller for around $17 on Amazon. I also decided to use 15 watt candelabra light bulbs as the heat source. I purchased the light bulb sockets for about a dollar each on Amazon. To make room for the heating items, I built a five inch tall open box cavity that each beehive will sit on and will contain the heat controller. It is the white portion of the hives that you see at the bottom. This will accommodate the heat controller and the heater bulbs. It has an access door behind it with a small plexiglass window to allow viewing of the digital display readout during cold weather season. During the fall, I install the insulated shelf so that it can hold the heat controller assembly. Each hive has its own internally regulated temperature controller. I painted the bulbs red with glass paint. I heard that the color red doesn't bother the bees. They are definitely not bothered by this light. I decided to connect six sockets, but you only need a maximum of two of them on at any time. 
I eventually decided to use four bulbs per hive just in case one or two of them burn out during the winter months as the hive will still be heated. It'll just take a little longer. Having more bulbs on at the same time just means it'll heat up quicker but the temperature of the hive will remain at the constant temperature setting. The heat is dispersed more evenly throughout the hive due to the various small vent holes that I drilled on the plastic bottom boards. The temperature sensor is about four to five feet long and I decided to run it to the hive front entrance and place it somewhere in the center of the bottom screen. I maintain temperature at 43 degrees Fahrenheit during the cold winter months for each hive. This hive temperature setting is experimental this year based on my research. During the summer months I simply remove the controller and pull out the bottom foam shelf to aid with the warm weather ventilation. As an added convenience for my situation, I connected some bright LED indicator lights to provide individual power status for each hive and a second LED below the respective hive light which will illuminate only when the heat is on. I did this to give me the ability to monitor the status of every hive without having to go out in the cold to inspect them. Just trying to make my life easier. The items I needed for that was a box, some wire, LEDs, and 5 volt cell phone chargers. $4 each on Amazon. Well that's my method for supplemental heating and a wind block. Hopefully this will get me through the winter of 2015 and 2016. Thank you for watching.